Hello everyone. Uh, there is a recent news coming from Kerala that there is a brain eating amoebiasis which is killing people. Already three people died because of this amoebic parasite. In this video, let us understand what is that parasite is, what all the symptoms are there and what is the available treatment to, to cure this condition. Now this brain eating amoebic parasite is caused by a amoeba looking like parasite. It is a single celled parasite and the name of this organism is Nagleria fowleri. Now this usually survives in freshwater lakes, ponds and rivers. It, it, it thrives when there is high temperature is there that during summer times it survives well. Now how do people get this infection when they take dip, when they go for a bath in such kind of lakes or uh, ponds, it gets into the human being through the nose. Through the nose it goes to the brain. In the brain it starts killing cells and eating the cells. That's why it has got the name brain eating amoebic parasite. Now when brain cells are dying, brain gets inflammation. So this condition is called as primary amoebic encephalitis. See, it is meningoencephalitis. The brain covering layer is called as meninges. When this organism starts eating brain cells, that, that covering will get swollen up. So that condition is called as PAM, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. Now what all the symptoms are there? See, within two to three days, people get Primary symptoms like headache, fever, nausea and vomiting. But within a week, after a week, a serious kind of symptoms will emerge like stiff neck, confusion, sheezes, hallucinations and coma. Now remember this organism death rate is 97%. That means people who are infected with this organism, out of 100 people if they are infected, 97 people may die. That is what is 97% mortality rate is. Very dangerous organism. Now, how do, how do we treat it? To treat that, currently there are two major drugs are available. Amphotericin B, an antifungal agent, and then miltifosin. Miltifosin is a broad spectrum antimicrobial agent. Along with this, azithromycin, rifampin, and dexamethasone are used. Dexamethasone is a steroid which is used to control that brain swelling. Azithromycin is antibacterial agent. Rifampin is also antibacterial agent. There is no proper treatment guidelines are there. People are using all this mixed combination. Doctors are using this. So these are, this is about uh, the brain eating uh, amoebic parasite. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching this video.